Hello everybody and welcome back to Battle for Azeroth. This is going to be another dungeon run here. This is Atal Dazar, which apparently does not have its own loading screen yet. So we are going to be killing some trolls, it looks like. And looks like they are arranged in a bit of a triangular formation. I guess we'll go ahead and head up this way first. See what happens. Hello, that's Arcane Intellect. Apparently they brought, they're bringing back buffs. I am in favor of this. Here's a rogue. Let's go ahead and kill this rogue. Rogues are jerks. It's got a Venom Fang Strike. What is our healer? Our healer is... is this our healer? Yeah, that must be our healer. It's a monk with mana, so Mist Weaver. Could get interesting there. This looks like we can go any direction we feel like here. As we kill ourselves some trolls. Reanimation totem sounds like a good thing to target first. Let's go ahead and murderate that. There we go. The guard is taking more shadow damage. Interesting. Now he is dead. Go ahead and pull these shield bearers. There we go. So far, they're just tank and spank. Oh, Bulwark of Juju. We'll go ahead and do that. Damage taken reduced by 90%. No real way to interrupt it other than to stun them. So that is a little bit obnoxious. I can see why they're called shield bearers. There we go. Go ahead and pull this group. I don't know if it's actually strictly necessary. But, we'll go ahead and do it. Should kill this rejuvenation totem first, and by rejuvenation, of course, I mean reanimation. Bulwark of Juju! So annoying. Okay, he is now dead. Venom bolts on the Witch Doctor here. He seems to target randomly with those. Pull this guy out of the bulwark. If he wasn't stunned, thanks, other paladin. Well, that was pointless. Should have stunned the, the shield bearer, not the reanimated honor guard. Which I'm going to go ahead and do right now so that he doesn't do anything else before he dies. And we'll just keep heading up this way. Here's another reanimation totem. Go ahead and pull that. Don't have much threat on this honor guard, so we'll go ahead and make him our primary target for now. There we go, totem is down. We'll work with Juju, pull these guys out of it if we can. There we go. So far this is fairly simple stuff. Rending Maul on this guy. Seems like it should put a dot on us, but it doesn't seem to have. The circle seems safe. There's a stalker in it. Shield bearer of Juju is still being annoying. Go ahead and use our racial once we can here in four more seconds. There we go. Circle seems safe there. Venom thing strike. Okay, that's a dot on us. There are some shield bearers in this one. This is going to be obnoxious. You can already tell. Pull this guy back towards us. Looks like that DPSer is killing that reanimation totem. And this honor guard does not want to attack us. There we go. The best way to defeat these shield bearers is probably going to end up being just CCing them. Until everything else is dead and then just stunning them. I don't have enough stuns to get all of these polymorphed. That's that's exciting. We are currently in unstable hex. And more bulwarks. Try to pull out of that if we can. Can't really. It doesn't really last long enough to make it really worthwhile to try to pull out, because by the time we get the troop the, the unit out of there, it almost is over. So Kind of seems like we just eat it, almost. Not exactly eating it, but... There we 
we go. We happened to get a Grand Crusader proc there for more AoE threat. Okay. Luckily, there aren't any shield bearers in this particular pull. Those guys are really obnoxious. They make the, the pull interesting, though. I'm okay with them being there. The Witch Doctor seems like he should probably be the priority target here. There we go. Interrupt that. There. And I'm now realizing I forgot to bind Rebuke after the last dungeon. Even though I said I would. <laughs> That's exciting. That hurt. Go ahead and do that. Multiple reanimation totems here. we we'll probably have to kill these. Bad Voodoo, three stacks, heals 5% of maximum health every half a second. We should probably kill this, then. See if we can get some threat on this guy. Hey, there's a Lua error. We didn't have any from the last one, but... There's really no point in fighting that guy until these totems are dead. Since they appear to heal him for 5% every half a second. So we'll go ahead and head up to this totem next. Yeah, that's definitely what causes that. He's down to two now. Can't really get good thread on him until these are dead. Or at least there's no real point in it. Go ahead and ride on over to this one. This guy just kind of jumps all over. A little obnoxious. There we go. And now he's upset. He's very upset. He's very, very upset. Wow. Okay, so we won't stand in that goop. So far, he's just a tank and spank here. Heal ourselves back up a bit. There we go. He's dropping this goop all over. See about kiting him back here. We may need to move up over there pretty soon. This area is becoming pretty saturated with goop. But maybe he's stopped? Nope. Okay. We'll go ahead and move him up. There we go. Ran out of space over there for goop. It's kind of a soft and rage sort of thing, looks like. The goop does not go away. We can overlap it quite effectively, though. No real problems with him. That was kind of a fun fight. We did get this mace. Is this mace an upgrade for us? Oh, looks like it. Maybe a minor one. Get some haste. Excellent. Okay, so we just do a straight shot down here. We do have some robes. Should turn on target of target. I'm not used to the stock UI. He bubbled himself in order to not have threat on these guys. That's fair. There we go. These rogues are gone. Looks like these guys are channeling this. We can we can pull that switch in order to unlock this, I'm guessing. But hey, bulwarks of Juju. Get out of here with the Juju. Also, the Lula errors. Get out of here with the Lula. Lula errors. Those are now Lula errors, I guess. Interrupt his Venom Blast a bit. Hey, another bulwark of Juju. See, by the time we start to move out of it, it's already almost gone. It's only a few seconds long. We could theoretically actually use Blinding Light to interrupt it. I'll have to remember that. Hey, more achievement Lua errors. Even though it's actually not there, we can't use that while stunned. No, we actually can. It was just on cooldown. What are these errors? We were not having these a moment ago. I wonder if it has to do with the actual guys that we're fighting here. 
There we go. Let's try pulling the switch. Yep, that went away, as expected. And we will pull these guys. Maybe we'll try restarting the game after this episode. And we get, we're getting feared into everything. Helpful. That's a very long fear. That is a really long fear. Okay, heal ourselves up a bit here. We need to interrupt that screech clearly. Okay. Our healer's on the way back. This guy has fallen through the floor, but he's still attacking. Guess we move on. Kind of like those fish in um, TTK. No, Gundrak. So this guy, we're going to go ahead and mark with a skull. He's the one that needs interrupting. He's also the one that does most of the annoying things. Stunning him is a good idea. We'll go ahead and add ours in. Now he is dead. Excellent. I like the, the aesthetics in this dungeon. The, the golden troll stuff is pretty cool. This looks like a boss. I'm not sure if it is or not. We fight it. There's three named guys here. They're kind of boss-esque. Boss light, mini boss sort of thing maybe. Hard to say. Dead eye aim. That's a little obnoxious. Also, the stun on that charge is a little obnoxious. Wasn't able to interrupt the dino might. Not enough haste there. Thought we'd be able to interrupt it with Avenger Shield, but now we know that that needs to be interrupted. She doesn't cast it very much, does she? go. All the dinos are dead, I think. We'll still interrupt it. No, there's still this one dino. That's interesting. I had a hard time actually seeing that this one was alive. Now it's dead. There we go. Yeah, I don't think that that's actually a boss. It's a mini boss of some type. Go ahead and we'll go this way, I think. I'm not sure it actually matters. We just happen to be mobs here, so this is the direction we're going. This seems to be laid out kind of like Gundrak. And we pulled a Fearer guy. Okay, where did that guy come from? Who pulled that? He seems to have peaced out. He's not interested in actually coming to fear us again. For the amount of XP these guys give, they're a little bit more annoying and have a little bit more health than I feel like maybe they should, but that might just be a scaling issue. This guy is going to have to be the one that we target, so go ahead and mark him. He's actually dying quite quickly, that is good. Cheese interrupt that with our blinding light. There we go. Now these guys are going to have to be pulled. Probably pulling them out. Maybe via an LOS pull or something. No, they just walk out. Okay. Go ahead and interrupt his wildfire. Sounds obnoxious. So don't let him cast that as much as possible. Once this pull is down, we'll try to figure out... It's like we just pulled this lever to stop the fire. We could probably get through without pulling the lever. There we go. We'll just go ahead and pull it, just to be on the safe side. Actually, we can't pull it. I guess we have to pull it on the other way. Ow, that hurts a lot. So that happens. <laughs> well, that was entirely our fault. 
Okay, so there is this Sky Screamer down this way. There are some mobs. Looks like we might be able to... We're not going to be able to get that way, actually. That's not going to be a thing. Okay, so we're going to just walk through here. Maybe he'll reset. Maybe he won't. He probably won't. So now we know we can't go up there on our elephant. We can just go ahead and hop on the elephant for now. Wait for the fire. And in we go. We do have some mobs coming in. I'm going to go ahead and mark this. Ink. Okay. Pull this guy. Interrupt his fear. Looks like the little guys gave up. The big guy did not. That's fine. Go ahead and murderate this guy. There we go. And we're out of combat, so it's all good. Hmm. How do we want to approach this? We should probably pull the priestess out here, if we can. It looks like we can pull all of these guys, in fact. Hey, Lua error. Getting in the way. Go ahead and drop our Consecrate there so that we have ourselves a little bit of extra damage. And we use our Racial for that. That's a lot of fire coming in. That's interesting. So we can heal ourselves up there, take the stress off the healer a little bit. I saw they used Life Cocoon on us already, anticipating a fair amount of damage from this pull. This is a lot of guys. go. Now we're cleaning this up. So, can we pull this guy without pulling these priestesses? That's the question. And the answer appears to be no. Okay, so the next question is, can we pull the priestesses without pulling her? I'm going to guess probably not. They're probably all linked. At least that's my theory. These guys are transfusing something. That doesn't sound good. Let's stun that one. We should probably prioritize down these priestesses. She's now casting transfusion, perhaps on the priestesses. There we go. One of the priestesses is down. Yeah, the transfusion appears to do something. Blessing of Kings is nice. The mage does not seem to have refreshed our arcane intellect. Unfortunate. I gotta say, I'm really pleased to see those buffs coming back. I really missed those. I like those buffs a lot. What is she transfusing from? Our allies? Do we need to do something with these ghouls in order to actually stop that, I wonder? We could check the adventure guide. Let's see here. Save damage, reducing abilities for Gilded Claws. Stand near a pool of tainted blood and step into it as she begins casting transfusion. Gotcha. Okay, so we now want to step into this. And I believe that protects us from transfusing. Yeah, see, ours is red now. Theirs was all, was all golden. So they're healing him, healing her. We were not there. Okay. We are still outpacing it in terms of DPS, but Gilded Claws is allegedly what hurts. Molten Gold. Okay. Inflicts damage. It's a dot. Gotcha. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab a Transfusion stack here. Yeah, now this guy's doing it too. Excellent. And yeah, she's going down a lot faster now. That's definitely how you're supposed to do this. Thanks, Adventure Guide. We didn't have any issues with that. Go ahead and submit that feedback. So the next one is Razan, according to this. But Yasma is the next one where we actually know where he is. This is still going this way, so it's going to be a little bit awkward to get through. Let's see here. We can maybe bubble it. 
We still can't actually... Still can't use the lever down here. Okay, well... That's awkward. Well, they're going to be coming down this way, so they're going to have some little guys, I think. Yep, and indeed they do. Let's go ahead and pull these. Get these guys off of them. We need to heal ourselves up. There we go. That heal is very effective on ourselves. It's more effective on ourselves than it is in live. It's just Hand of the Protector is weird. We're using Light of the Protector, of course. So the next question is, how do we get up here? Looks like we go over here, and there's some paths off to the side, maybe? Let's find out. Hmm. Through the waterfall? Hmm. We're missing one. We need to go down to the sacrificial pits. Down to the pits. There we go. There's some mobs down here. We'll just go down this ramp, and that's where we're going to get Razan. Okay. Looks like everyone is, in fact, following us. That is excellent. Sometimes people go charging off on their own. But yeah, that definitely looks like where we're supposed to go. We'll go ahead and head down here. These piles of bones look spooky. Let's try walking in them. Nothing happens. Okay. No, oh, look at that guy. That's pretty cool, actually. He's a skeletal troll... raptor T-Rex thing. Now, something came to life. Reanimated raptor over here. We'll go ahead and pick him up. There we go. He's using his terrifying visage. We need to hide, apparently. Don't see anything to hide behind, really. That fears us. Okay. And he's going to cast Pursuit. He's going to try to focus on our, on our mage here. We need to kite. And there's another raptor up. There he is. They're attempting to devour our mage. I think our mage is okay, though. She seems to be. There's another raptor coming up. We need to hide from his terrifying visage. So I guess we'll go over here. And let's go ahead and pick up this raptor. It's a little bit awkward that there isn't a little bit more red readable... Ready... Readable? There isn't a little bit more... There isn't a little bit more terrain around here that's easily hideable, is what I'm trying to say, but I'm completely failing at saying it. This guy's a lot of HP, either that or we're just doing this poorly. That's also possible. He's trying to hide again, or he's not trying to hide again, he's trying to fear us again. Go ahead and hide. There we go. He seems to stay put pretty well. He doesn't actually need that much tanking. What we need, though, is some damage. Go ahead and pull this raptor over here. The raptors don't actually have much health. They can mostly be splash damaged. Just have to pick them up. He's still got quite a bit more HP. Does he heal up from the visage when he fears people? No? Okay. And that causes enemies in LOS to flee in fear for six seconds. He's now going to pursue going to pursue our healer. And now he's going to devour our healer. Go ahead and use Blessing of Sacrifice on her so that she can stay alive a little better. There we go. Pick up that raptor. Heal ourselves up. He's going to use Terrifying Visage. We're going to go ahead and hide again. And he's dead. Well, that worked fine. That was another interesting fight. 
So now we should theoretically be able to get to Yasna. So let's go ahead and come back up here. Item level 210. Stat squish is always fun. So theoretically, that should have changed something. I don't see anything different over here. Oh yeah. The waterfall went away and this is now becoming stairs. That's pretty cool, actually. There's still an invisible wall here, so we can't go up the stairs as they're being made. But that was that was a cool effect. I like that. Hmm. All of this stuff coming down here, that looks healthy. So I guess we just gotta work our way up through here, missing all of the things, just like that. And then, what is this guy? Nerubian? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So I guess there's Nerubians here. Let's go ahead and pull him, see what this guy does. He is the final boss here. Dazar be awakening soon, but you won't live to see it. Okay. I be tearing your soul apart. Soul rend on Demelo. Upon reaching 100 energy, he inflicts a bunch of shadow damage on a random player, creating a soul spawn at the target's location. Whatever that means. We are taking a lot of damage. We need to do something about this soul spawn, I think. The healer's dead. We are taking a lot of damage here. Go ahead and pop that. Up we go. This is a wipe, I believe. Almost certainly. Yeah, this is definitely a wipe. Okay, so, let's take a look at the adventure guide here, and get away, Lua Errors. Hmm. Okay, so, kill soul spawns before they reach, before they reach the boss. Okay. According to the adventure guide. Our monk DC'd momentarily. We'll res. Oh, where is our monk? There she is. And she DC'd again. Okay. Let's see if she comes back. We still do have the mother load to do that is available. That'll probably be what we do next after this dungeon. Maybe the healer comes back, maybe she doesn't. All we need is to kill Yasma here. What else does the adventure guide say about Yasma? Move away from Echo of Shadra. Okay, so move away from the little guys that are around. Skewer for damage mitigation. Okay. Kill soul spawns, move away while affected with soul rend. Yeah, okay. So we just need to kill the soul spawns. That's what we did wrong last time, I think. Hmm. Should we kick the monk? She's been DC'd for a while now. She did try to come back. Let's go. Yeah, they're, they're doing a vote to kick. I was just about to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and kick her. There we go. And we'll find ourselves another healer. Hopefully that won't take too long. Looks like we already found one. Just kill the soul spawns and we should be okay.
Is this healer ready? We may still be loading. There we go. I tried to do a... I, I was just trying to do a pull timer. <laughs> Racking pain can actually be interrupted. Should do that. Soul rend on the Melo. Okay. It's a little late on that since I don't have a bound. Echoes of Shadra. Okay, that hurt. Healer, are you healing? It would appear the healer is not healing. So these are the these are the guys that need to die here. And that's why they need to die. So when you get Soul Rend, walk away from the boss, then kill the... Oh, his keybinds broke. That explains it. Then kill the soul spawns. They walk to the boss, then blow up. So just kill them. Maybe they can be stunned too. Okay. Should be relatively easy if we can get these guys to actually kill them. Are we ready? I'll do a ready check. Okay, everyone is ready. Let's try this Wait, once more. Third time's the charm. Have to actually do mechanics for this one. So, pugs are having a bit of a hard time. Soul Ren on our, on our shaman over here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that with a skull. Our paladin is not helping, but there we go. We killed it. Interrupt the racking pain, unless I was too late. I think I was too late. Soul rend on our shaman again. So we'll go ahead and mark that. Yeah, this is going much better with those adds dying. Have the boss down to about half. Casting it way out there again. Excellent. Go ahead and mark that one. Global cooldown too strong. Couldn't get that interrupt. I really need to find that. that help a lot. Okay. Yeah, I just don't have enough time for racking pain to get down here and click on it. Soul rend on our paladin. That's not good. He needs to move further. And it instantly blew up. Okay. This is going to get kind of dicey. And it's on our paladin again. Go ahead and bubble this. Bubble taunt. Interrupt the racking pain. Heal ourselves. Kate this. There we go. Excellent. That's a cool fight. I like that one a lot. And we got ourselves a ring. Thanks, guys. There we go. Kind of soloed the end of that, but it is what it is. And we are back in here. And let's go ahead and take a look at this ring. 
Looks like that's a pretty sizable upgrade over both of what we've got. We could lose some verse and some mastery, or we could lose some verse and some mastery. Or crit and verse, or verse and mastery, that is. This is crit and verse, so it's a direct upgrade over the beaten copper loop of the quick blade. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Excellent. Well, this has gone a little bit over. That took a little bit longer to run than I was hoping, but I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode I will remember to actually have a keybind for rebuke, and we will also probably run the mother load. So until then, I will see you guys next time.